Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing an experiment trying to see if four vacuums connected together can create enough suction going through a 55 gallon metal drum to collect all the material, most of it, and using a four, um, a corrugated four inch hose, okay, to see if those four vacuums can actually produce enough suction to suck up larger objects through this hose. Now, why am I doing this? Um, I want to see, first of all, if the CFM uh, will change, which it should increase quadruple at least somewhere around there. And, but the biggest thing I want to know is, will it decrease or increase the water uh, water lift uh, vacuum? So here we have these vacuums. Now this is one that I made. This is a regular vacuum uh, gauge and I made that out of hot glue. Just used the cone and uh, poured in about a bunch of hot glue and stuck that in there. And then you can kind of stick it into a lot of different host sizes, which I made myself. But the problem is this gauge measures kind of weird it does it only moves from here to here on a big vacuum and i needed one that actually can be very accurate in uh inches of water and here it is this is inches of water uh meter vacuum meter and they use this for vacuum uh to measure how much suction you have and the water lift and this one is a little bit you know i think a regular vacuum somewhere around 40 40 inches of water lift and this one i bought on amazon i couldn't find one uh anything cheaper this is 75 bucks with tax on amazon i couldn't find it anywhere else that i uh that i could get it so i tried making my own and this is what i had it works but it just doesn't measure too accurately because it's only moving a quarter inch and um and if you hook it up to something smaller or less, it's only making a small adjustment and it, I can't really measure that really well. So this one is you can buy on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested and uh, we'll go from there. Now we're going to be testing it. We're going to be testing the CFM. I mean, that's CVM, the, the water lift through this hose. We're also, we did a video earlier. If you guys are interested, you can watch that. This is a big backpack blower that I converted into a vacuum and it goes with that uh, 55 gallon barrel lid and it goes right on top of this okay and um, also I was using and sucking up rocks and dirt and, and wood chips and you guys can check that out if you're interested but after this setup that we're going to test right now I'm going to put the vacuum uh, the backpack blower on top of that and test that with the amount of water lift um, after we test these, the water lift by themselves and all four combined to see if th is this actually a practical way of doing this. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I have to dig uh, right next to my barn, um, uh, dig up a water line that's leaking slowly and I don't wanna use the backhoe and damage it. So uh, if you watch the YouTube video, uh, there's plenty of them that use these big vacuum, high pressure, high vacuum suction uh, machines to vacuum up the dirt that you loosen up with a pressure washer. And instead of doing a small vacuum with a, you know, what you could do is just going to take you a very long time with a regular vacuum i decided to see if this is actually going to work this works but that worked better alone so now i'm going to test today if this and four of these will make even a bigger change so we are going to be vacuuming them up some rocks see how well um, the vacuums and together do and we have some wood chips and then we have some wet leaves and uh, we have a bunch of uh, loose dirt pretty much all over the place. So we're gonna be vacuuming those. So let's get to it and start. First, I'm gonna be putting up this meter up to the biggest uh, vacuum that we have to show you what the water lift on that is. And then I'm gonna be hooking it up to here, not this one, but here, um, and closing off the pipes just to see what the water lift from all four is. And then after, during the video, we're gonna hook it up to that and all of these and see what the water lift does. So you guys can get a good idea. If you ever were wondering, I was wondering, nobody had this on YouTube. So I figured, you know what? I gotta test this myself. And then I took it overboard. So um, enjoy guys the video. Also down the road, I am gonna be doing a video about that. That is a conversion that I converted a backpack leaf blower into a vacuum portable vacuum and it is for a purpose um uh a unique purpose that i'm going to be using it for so if you guys are interested in how i made that and how i'm going to test it later you can stay tuned for the videos that come up from there so let's get to it all right so we're going to be turning on this biggest vacuum that we have and we're testing it with the uh water meter <laughs> almost 50. So that was almost 50 inches of water lift. So let's continue and uh, test this all 
with that barrel. Now, some of these vacuums do um, uh, probably have a different water lift because they're all different except these two. So it is gonna probably change this. So this is not a really accurate way of testing this, but I just wanna test it in theory overall. So let's go continue. Alright guys, um, as you saw for yourselves, but let me explain, the rocks did not go through it very well. Um, the When I did do the video about that big backpack blower vacuum setup, that actually was sucking up these rocks, no problem. Um, but it was uh, lacking a little bit when I was actually recording it, it was not working at its best. So because before it would suck up these bricks, bigger bricks. But either way, um, the wood chips has no problem uh, sucking up. Of course, once in a while, the stick would get stuck sideways and you have to just kind of wiggle the, the tube like you saw. Over here, we had a bunch of these uh, wet leaves that were kind of even frozen over. I sucked up most of them. It even had a little bit of dirt and that sucked it up. No problem with these wet leaves. The dirt over here, it had a problem. So it would suck it up, but it couldn't bring it up the pipe. So uh, it does work, but it doesn't work as good. Now, I'm assuming if you would have connected four perfectly uh, identical brand new shop vacs, you know, to this without having any air leakage, and I had them all on separate circuits, I think, even though I think a couple of them are uh, sharing the same circuit. I had four different cords all over the place because I didn't want to lose the power, but I think one of the vacuums, one of those cords uh, was connected, uh, two of those circuits were connected to the same um, outlet. So in theory, I did not have a perfectly accurate uh, way of uh, showing you guys, but I'm pretty sure if they're all connected separately and brand new vacuums with no air leakage, I'm pretty sure this would do pretty well. Now, a five, a four inch hose in diameter is equal to five point, I think, two, two inch hoses, which is hard to believe that a two inch hose like this is, I, I, I thought four of these is gonna be more than enough to, uh, exchange with a four inch hose but that's not true you need 5.2 it's 16 i think 16 point something inches square inches in a four inch diameter hose and this one is 3.1 i think square inches so it kind of lies to you a little bit but anyway let's continue and put on that big big backpack blower and turn on all these even though it's not a perfect system let's see if we can get a better result
right, so it seemed like it did pretty good. It sucked up the rocks better than just the vacuums alone. And, um, but then I was realizing that it was not sucking up some of this stuff as good as it was just running by itself um, rather than all these four vacuums. And uh, I, the reason why is uh, these leaves, when I sucked up the leaves, it started losing suction. Aside from it being clogged up sometimes, uh, like these bricks, they're very jagged. So when they get cockeyed, they actually clog up the hose because this is a corrugated hose. It's not, it's not a smooth hose. And um, so I just put my hand in there and the hole for this with the net that I put in there was clogged up with leaves. It was still sucking a little bit but uh, the power was lost. That's why it didn't look very well. So if you guys wanna see what this does by itself, I did a video about it by itself and you can see what it did. It did do pretty good, but uh, the first time I was using it, it, it worked even better. So I'm not sure what happened the first time because it was sucking up bricks, but now it had a hard time. You have to lift the hose a little bit just for it to go completely through. So I think for this whole system to work really well, I think you need either a three inch hose versus a four inch hose so that the speed um, gets funneled in faster. Um, the lift is nice, uh, but that's only when you get clogs to pull it through. And uh, yeah, the other side would be is getting something that actually has a lot of lift. So let's just test this really quick. I'm gonna start this up after I clean that. What I wanna try is uh, seeing what's the, what's the water lift with all of these connected. Well guys, here we have it. That was, the water lift was somewhere around the 30 mark and it was kind of jumping up and down. Uh, when I just hooked it up to this machine without the barrel and everything, actually no, with the barrel, just this machine, I think I was getting a reading of, a, it was jumping around um, above 40. So it was going between uh, like 35 and, and uh, 50. Um, so yeah, you can judge for yourself guys if this is something that is, uh, practical for you to do for a small project or that or just for fun so um, I'll see you guys next time and if you guys are interested in buying one of these I'll put a link down below at, Ama at Amazon is for 75 bucks with tax and I tried finding one so I can make it myself like I did that cone which I do have a video of how I made it if you guys are interested you can check that out I should be putting it up shortly and yeah this is actually pretty cool I just wish this had a bigger uh, rubber stopper so I can put it into four inch pipes and whatnot the one I made does go does close off a four inch pipe so i could just replace this into that so all right guys see you later